Hi guys. So for today's reading, we're going to be looking at what the tea is on you and by who the gossip on you. And before we get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to any and all of you who have supported this channel in whatever way you do, whether that be liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, donating, timestamps, the super thanks button, all that stuff is so greatly appreciated. Any of you who have purchased my artwork on my SD shop, um, or purchased personal services for, from me. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate you guys because you are responsible for keeping this channel going and here for other people as well as yourselves. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I'm very good at the introductions. Great at them. I really, it took me a long time to even start including things like that in my introduction because, yeah, it just feels weird a little bit. I also want to say a big thank you to my guides and the divine beings, our first ancestors, our true mother and father. Thank you so much for being here to guide us and lend us your strength and your wisdom and to be here to help with these messages as well as the energy work. So thank you for that and let's get started with pile one. For pile one. Cancer. Capricorn. I always get, I get confused when I see the Capricorn when I think of Aries, like every time. Scorpio. And the star. So the gossip about you, some people may be saying that you're kind of shallow. Uh very mysterious you don't let everybody in on everything going on with you you may also be somebody who stands out very much you may be somebody who sparkles and shines you may be like the main attraction a lot of times when it comes to situations and so that could be part of the reason why you've learned how to really keep personal things to yourself in some sort of way. People could be talking about addictions in some sort of way or maybe even a workaholic type energy. Workaholic is kind of an addiction too. You can be addicted to work just like you can anything else. That you're a very good caregiver, nurturing, loving, a very good helper, very imaginative as well. You have a very strong imagination, very optimistic and hopeful about the future. Very regenerative, good at regenerating. Anytime anything bad happens, you come back to life very quickly and easily. H-I-H-I-N-A-B-B-N-B-N-Y-Y-N-Y-S. People could be talking about your feminine energy as well. O G. G, so rock forever just came to mind. Your heart is beautiful, don't let them change it because you're beautiful exactly as you are. N, E, D, Den. Maybe you make people feel that way too. Dine, dine on my fine china. N, K, U, somebody could be talking about an experience they had with you sexually. Y, but in a good way. Gang. very balanced in your masculine and feminine energy an ex could definitely be somebody who may be discussing you could be an ex friend or a sibling as well that may be discussing you hang people may really like to hang out with you things like that eyes the eyes are the windows to the soul Defend, friends to the end. <laughs> Child's play came to mind when I thought of that. You have severe trust issues and you project that onto everyone around you. You have walked away from good people because of it. If true, you may be compassionate, or if true, be compassionate and understanding with yourself. If not, then they are trying to hide who they really are and blaming it all on you. So, 
for some of you, there is going to be some trust issues that you've been working on and working on not projecting onto the people around you because you may have actually severed some good connections because of it. Be compassionate and understanding with yourself because you know what? Everyone goes through this at some point because they have dealt with some severely bad things with people and it can cause you to feel like everyone's out to get you, especially if you've ever dealt with a narcissist or anybody that has high narcissistic traits in general. And if that's not the case, then somebody else did something to you and you walked away and they're trying to blame you walking away on you and not on themselves. They're trying to say that you were just crazy and coming up with crazy things when in actuality, it's just because of your past and your trust issues instead of, you know, them doing what they did. A trap house filled with nasty secrets, drugs, prostitution, thieves, liars. Crazy that people don't see it, but some wear very good masks. Be careful. Mm -hmm. So some people could be saying that uh, you have a lot of nasty secrets hidden behind the scenes that maybe you sell yourself or maybe you're a thief, maybe you're a liar, maybe you do a bunch of drugs. Uh, they may even be throwing in things like, oh, it's so crazy that people don't see this. How can people not see what's going on here? Oh my goodness, kind of thing. And you know, saying that you wear a very good mask, so be careful. Honestly, I feel like the majority of you don't really wear much of a mask at all. I'm feeling like there may actually be somebody who is very masked around you as well. Um, some people could even be talking about somebody that you're dealing with yeah like somebody that you're dealing with um that you aren't seeing for who they are or maybe you are and you're just you know it's not our place to judge and other people can eat a dick if they don't like it anyway a very intelligent person who loves to learn knows a lot about many different subjects is amazed by types of or is amazed by many types of wisdom and knowledge a collector so you're somebody who really loves to learn you're somebody who really loves to explore things you're somebody who really likes to dive deep and pick up wisdom and knowledge everywhere you go so even if you are hanging out with crowds that other people deem as evil you know you're picking up and learning a lot of different things because you're keeping an open mind and a non-judgmental perspective and you're interacting with people that other people would judge by the cover without even getting to know it's very possible crying is not something you do a lot but you truly mean it when you do you may not cry a lot but when you cry you definitely mean it you are somebody who has a very deep emotional and painful cry when you cry when you cry it is extremely real and people can feel the energy because it's vibrating off of you you know your value and you know your worth you're almost never insecure or jealous you know your value you know your worth you also know that other people have value and worth and you also know that just because two people come together doesn't mean they're going to be staying together and you are somebody who believes in love in a way where you feel like if it's really love, then I want you to be happy wherever that is, whether it's with me or with someone else. And also, you're not insecure when it comes to interactions with others and you're not jealous of the people that they're interacting with. You're not jealous of anything of that sort. It's a very refreshing feeling to a lot of people. Woof and the bat people may be talking about how telepathic you are how connected you are how you pick up on so many different things that other people don't pick up on you pick up on a lot of the hidden things the things that are kept in the dark the things that people don't want to expose you really see straight through to the shadow side of somebody and you are definitely a a wolf you're an alpha um mother destroyer <laughs> there's a song called alpha Mother destroyer, yeah, one in the same. Please to meet ya. That song. Uh, you are also very accepting of your own shadow side. You know that it's there. You know that you have it. And you know that it's there for a reason. And if it needs to be enacted, it will be. 
You're somebody who leads by action. You're very loyal. You're very strong. You're very trustworthy. You are somebody who definitely is a very strong leader. And you have a very intense look in your eyes, a very intense energy in your eyes. Some people may actually get just a little bit intimidated by that, but I really, I feel like for most people, they trust you immensely and don't even know why. The Eight of Wands, Four of Wands, The Fool, and The Two of Wands. So I really do feel like you got some people in the background, though, like Jealous Ex or um, Jealous Ex Friends or, I don't know, something going on in the background where they're really trying to make people see you in some sort of bad light. But everyone knows who you are and none of the crap that they're even doing is even having an impact on anything. People know who you are. People see who you are. And people love who you are regardless of what these people want to try to portray you as. I feel like you might have used to hidden yourself away, but now you are out more in the open and really exposing yourself a lot more. The way that you communicate is something that people love as well. The way that you move, the way that you're willing to take a leap of faith, the fact that you celebrate everyday life, the fact that you really enjoy life and you have a very strong stability backing your passions, even though you move quickly, you are very stable in the actions that you take. And you are very discerning in your path forward because you are somebody who really does believe in your intuition and trust in the signs, the synchronicities, and the messages that you get. You are somebody who goes after the opportunities that are right in front of you as well. So that's pretty much what I got for this pile. If you guys enjoyed this reading, I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonated, what you might be going through, who these people could be. Brian, Hank, Snake. Snakes in the Grass by King T is a good song for you too. So anyway, if you guys would like to donate, you can find my Amazon wish list, PayPal, Cash App, all in the description box below. There's a super thanks button. You can leave a timestamp or like, share, comment, subscribe. All those things are so greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for doing those things. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye, guys. Hi, Pile Two. So, for you guys, let's see who is gossiping about you and what they are saying. Sagittarius, could be an ex-friend, sibling, Leo, could be a mother, ex, ex-friend again, optimistic, Sagittarius, Capricorn, could have been somebody you, um, yeah, could have definitely been an ex-friend, um, whether that's an ex or an ex-friend, exes or ex-friends too, uh, Possibly a parent. Maybe even a child, stepchild for some of you. Could be somebody in the law or somebody in an institution of some sort talking about you as well. Somebody who works in an institution with kids maybe even. Um, somebody could be talking about an ex-friend of yours that slept with some of the people that you dated. Something along those lines. People could be talking about your work ethic. People could be talking about you uh, and your decision-making skills. Some people may be saying you're very indecisive or unsure what to do. Some people could be saying that you're a bit of a people pleaser. Some people could be talking about addictions in your life in some sort of way. Maybe even just addictions to people. J, E, X, X, Z, D, T, D, Doubt, U. <laughs> um, hold on. Turn it inside out, find nothing but faith and nothing. Want to put my tender heart in a blender, watch it spin round to a beautiful oblivion. Rendezvous and I'm through with you. That song just came to mind. You are jury. You could have listened to it with them or it could be a... Uh, 
it played at some point B, D, C, count, down for the count, out for the count, O, Q, U, cut, in the cut. That's a movie, by the way. K, T, C, P, um, Sex work could be a factor in some sort of way. Rex. Oh, Rexy, you're so sexy. Uh, there's a movie. Empire Records. Debt, debt collector. Code, coding. Core. Bod, abode. Cop, copy. Cure. Somebody could be talking about you being the cure in some sort of way to something. Cup. Filling up their cup. Cop. Pod. Causes creative blockages in others and holds people back. They're doing illegal things to earn their money or their keep. Relying on their good luck to keep them out of trouble. So they could be talking about you like couch surfing and, you know, using your body to pay your way. They could be talking about you um, doing illegal things to earn your money like uh, selling drugs or um, things like that. Relying on good luck to keep them out of trouble. Or maybe you're just blessed and maybe you aren't actually doing any of these things. Maybe you are, but... Somewhat doubt it. I think that you open people up creatively and you bring a lot of inspiration and power to people's lives. You are definitely a very strong leader. Um, people could be talking about you having a lot of pride and ego, but I don't think you have a lot of pride and ego. I think it's their projections onto you that are causing them to think that you have a lot of pride and ego as well. Too much, too loud, too bold, too aggressive, never calm, always hyper aware while completely unaware of others in your face. So, if I'm shining, everybody gonna shine. I was born like this, don't even gotta try. I heard you say I'm not the baddest bitch alive. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, that bitch by B. Miller is coming to mind as well. You can tell everyone the truth, but if I do, then I'm just a bitch. Uh, I feel like this person that's talking about you is very loud, very aggressive, very in-your-face type of person anyway. They're very unaware. They lack awareness of others around them a lot of times because they just want the spotlight on them. And I feel like they are projecting that onto you and hating you for qualities in you that are similar to them but very different because I feel like, yes, you can take the center stage in the spotlight if you want to or need to, but I also feel like you're fully capable of dropping back. I also feel like you're the type of person who will notice somebody that's invisible in the corner of a room and will try to bring them into what's going on as well. Sleeps with anyone and everyone. Leads people on and just wants to play games. I wouldn't trust them or their charm. If true, remember to be discerning. Ask why you are having hypersexual energy. A lot of times it can stem from sexual abuse. It's amazing the amount of hypersexual energy. 99% of people who have had sexual abuse in their life end up dealing with at some point in their life. If not true, they may just want to serve... They may just want to scare away certain suitors if they believe it without looking further. It just weeds out the trash for you. Yeah, I found out somebody new was doing that last night. Somebody that I never would have fucking not. Some pretty fucked up shit to run around fucking saying that shit to people. All because you're wanting... I think this might even be somebody that wants to be with you. Whether it's an ex, some of you it is going to be an ex or an ex-friend. Um, who just really wants your time, your energy, wants to be around you, wants to be with you, doesn't want anybody else to have any access to you or be around you so that you are solely for them, basically. Um, or it could even be it's a suitor in general that you haven't actually been with yet. 
that never even made a move towards you in any kind of way, but expected you to come chasing after them for no reason since they weren't making it obvious that they were interested in you and is wanting to keep other people away from you because of that is ruining potential relationships you could have. Shine like a star. Or you shine like a star. So you bring a lot of hope, light, positivity, joy, and optimism to the lives of others. You are definitely a shining star. You're very different from people. You stand out very much and very optimistic and hopeful. They value life, all life. They are very grateful and they live life to the fullest and they show it. Kindness radiates from them and respectful energy shows. Anything but boring, the life of the party. So... You are anything but boring. You're the life of the party. And that's why that person is projecting that shit onto you too. Is because that person is hating those parts of themselves. That where they have to take up all the time, all the space, all the energy. And everybody's eyes has to be on them all the time. And they really love that feeling. And they are projecting that onto you. You are somebody who is definitely the life of the party. But you're also somebody who values all life. You show respect. You show kindness. You're definitely a very beautiful person who also puts the life on other people when it's needed instead of just taking it all for yourself <clears throat> otter and the hummingbird the six of pentacles the five of swords the two of pent or two of swords and the king of swords yeah definitely one of the people that is telling people that you're running around screwing everybody or that you're um sleeping on everybody's couches and having sex with them to provide your place for you whatever the case may be this is definitely a bitter jealous ex um somebody who is very possessive very controlling somebody who uh is very intelligent as well may come off as very perfect or likable to most people Somebody who's very rational, logical. Somebody who has been in competition with you for a very long time. Very bitter, very jealous, very resentful of the successes that you are claiming in your life. Doesn't want to admit that it's because you're a kind, giving, and generous person. That you are somebody who's always there for others. So other people are there for you in the same way. Because then they would have to admit that you were there for them and they weren't there for you. People are definitely talking about how you're a very happy, optimistic, joyful person and how you are at peace with the decisions that you've made. You have really healed your inner child and you've been able to bring a lot more of that out. You're very playful, fun, energetic. Um, and also there's definitely a lot of competition over you for your time, for your attention, for your energy to be with you, that kind of thing. So you have definitely had to deal with a lot from people um, trying to bitter jealous envious crap and bullshit from people where they're trying to turn everyone against you so that you know you aren't seen for the beautiful person that you are i feel you anyway so that's what i have for you guys and if you guys um liked this reading remember to like share comment subscribe timestamp donation hit the super thanks button. All those things are so greatly appreciated. And thank you guys so much for doing anything that you do to support me on this channel as I'm here to support you. You guys make this possible. Thank you. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. Hi, guys. So for pile three, let's see what people are saying about you and who it is. And... Some of you, people may actually be talking about your sexuality. Leo, Gemini, Cancer, Imaginative, Virgo, Scorpio. Um, this could definitely be an ex of yours. Some of you could be a sibling or a parent. There's a fair amount of people talking about you guys. Um could even be like a mother-like figure that wasn't your mother but was kind of there when your mom wasn't um mom sister possibly ex possibly family definitely a lot of family things sisters is definitely a big one maybe a brother but hidden things mysterious things exposure Maybe you've exposed some of the things that were hidden within your family in some sort of way. And people could be talking about that as well. 
people may be um, overthinking things. You might be overthinking things. Could have dealt with some two-faced people that were taking what you had to say and telephoning it to somebody else in a way completely different than what you meant it or it's just getting blurred and things like that. There's a lot of drama, chaos, things like that going on. L Y. U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Um Lies. M Lyme disease. G. Y. A. Somebody could be sick. Yeah, gay. <laughs> Somebody could be discussing your sexuality. Ray. Lay. Q. Q. Y. M. P. Hmm. Military police. PM. Nighttime. W. H. A. T. What? Rat, N, Nat, Nasty, M, Nappy, A, L, O, Z, Z, W. Whole, Holy, Woman, A Woman's Worth, Fargo. Wells Fargo, a bank, could be involved in some sort of way. Low. Low down, dirty rat. Um, oh, what is the name of that song? <laughs> now. Matt. Man. Matthew. Wow. World of Warcraft. Mog, Mario, Melanie, Mom, Grandma, Grammy, okay, let's see what they're saying here, Plow, very shallow and only cares about money or looks. Someone may want to scare off potential suitors. Really look in the mirror and ask what matters most to you. So, there could be people that are wanting to scare off potential suitors for you, um, trying to let them, or trying to make them feel like or think that you are very shallow, you only care about looks, you only care about money, you only care about things that are, um, superficial and you don't really care about the people that are in front of you which could be true or it may not be true um at one point a an ex friend of mine was talking about this guy that really liked her that had just got picked up and put in jail um on a parole violation because he had a gun with him and uh she really pretty much did not want to be with him because of his looks, literally. It literally had everything to do with the fact that he was heavier and, you know, things like that. And so my ex started, like, getting more fit and eating better and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, if you're feeling, if you're doing that because you're feeling like I left because of that, don't be doing that shit for me. Because you know what? Uh... I'm not that shallow, and for you to even think that I'm that shallow is fucking ridiculous, but yeah. Anyway, he was literally doing that for that reason. You are starting to understand them, but there is so many layers. As you uncover those layers, you'll notice things missed before. Truth is hard to find with this one. So people are also talking about you being a liar. People are talking about you having masks. And as you uncover yourself, the people start to realize all the things that you lied about kind of thing. Attacks others with very little provocation, very defensive, angry, and has a chip on their shoulder. Constantly sweats the small stuff and refuses to take a break or to accept help. So if any of these things are true, remember that it is okay to 
take a break to accept help to ask for help you don't have to prove yourself to anybody all the time you don't have to be responsible for everything every day every second every hour and you know what just take a fucking break and that will help to that will help with a lot of the other things as well if those things are true you are a very loving soul animals the earth people and plants are all very important to you and you stand up to protect them all with a fiery passion never let others talk you out of that or cause you to turn away you are passionate and you believe in equality and respect for all life you are not crazy so somebody who believes that way i just have a very hard time thinking that they're shallow in any way so i really don't feel like that's actually real i think that that has something to do with somebody trying to scare off potential suitors and like i said there could definitely be an ex talking about you an ex who maybe breadcrumbed you who ghosted you who didn't think that you were worth their time or energy or effort somebody who was very shallow and thought that because you didn't have money you had nothing to offer or something along those lines or you didn't have um the most up-to-date clothes or brand names or things like that and it could have also been somebody that maybe even uh somebody who likes all eyes on them all the time and you know you don't really super love all eyes on you so you know they i don't know or all eyes weren't on you or i don't know whatever the case may be anyway very grateful and very in tuned and aligned can't be torn torn down easily if at all you always reach out to help those in need very unselfish and while you have somebody trying to sow these seeds you have a lot of people saying a lot of good things about you very surprising energy it can catch you off guard so there's definitely a lot of people that are saying very good things about you they love your energy it's very surprising it can catch you off guard you're somebody who's always there to reach out to others and help if they need it you're very unselfish very grateful aligned in tune can't be torn down easily if at all just a very loving pure beautiful soul that um, loves life and everything in it you're very confident and know that you are lit not cocky but sure of yourself true confidence not faked or acted out you know who you are and you live who you are so you know who you are you live who you are you're very confident self-assured solid you have a lot of self-esteem a lot of self-respect a lot of self-love you're not cocky you're not stuck in your pride you're not stuck in your ego you're a very humble and beautiful person while at the same time being very confident and sure of yourself and you stand your ground you stand up for not only others but yourself as well you stand up for yourself and you stand up for others and not everybody has the ability to pull off both of those things or even the ability to pull off any of those things very much in your self-esteem very self-assured very capable of being strong independent on your own very abundant as well um, get a lot of you get a lot of opportunities you get a lot of offers you are somebody who offers loyalty commitment solidity stability strength to others care concern People may also be saying that you don't see a lot of the blessings in front of you in some sort of way or that you're kind of bored with life in some sort of way or that you um, people could be talking about how you like to just rest at ease how you like to daydream a lot how you like to get lost in your thoughts a lot people are also talking about how much abundance fertility and growth you bring to everyone you meet and every life you touch you're a very solid stable strong caring supporting network for people it's like you're this for some of you you could actually be a sponsor in some sort of way if you've ever dealt with addiction before and you are helping others pull out of addiction something along those lines could be a factor as well um, very giving generous kind somebody who would take care of you when you're sick somebody who has been able to break a lot of cycles and shed the old skin you are somebody who has a lot of beauty within you and this beauty you protect you stand strong to defend this is something that you do not let just anybody into or let just anybody see some people may even be saying you're a bit of a temptation for them because of the beauty that you hold within you so that is pretty much what I got for this pile and I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it 
product, whether or not it resonated, what you might have going on, who these people could be. And if you guys enjoyed this reading, I would absolutely love it if you could um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the super thanks button, leave a timestamp or a donation. All those things are so greatly appreciated. And thank you guys so much for doing that. I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.